for using Detroit buses. <gasps> All right. End of the line. End of the line? Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. I just want to hurry up and get through here so I can figure out if Sink and Connor's still alive. Oh my god, like, did I seriously lose one of the three main characters this stinking early? Oh my stinking god, I need to hurry up and beat this godforsaken game. I can't stink and sleep until I do. Oh my god, stay here, shelter? Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. Oh my god, this is literally the worst. I just can't stop thinking of everything I messed up. I killed Todd, I killed Carl's son, and probably Carl. I probably killed Marcus, who knows? They mistook him for the sinking assailant. And okay. Connor. What? We'll find somewhere to spend the night. I'm just on, sad. Oh my god. I have no idea. I don't even want to, like. I'm gonna examine everything anyway, but like I'm, I don't want to because I just want to hurry up and get back to the next Connor segment if there is another one. You have to wait out in the rain. That's no fun. We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? <sighs> Everyone's useless. Well, Kara has a personality now. I know that at least. So, Kara broke free, Marcus broke free, and Connor broke his skull. <laughs> I don't like that there's a Connor and a Kara, it just sounds too similar. Very uncomfortable, but discreet. Uh, I assume there are multiple options, and ugh, I don't want to go there. Where are you going? No, don't go over there. Get back. Why are you doing this to me? Come on. I don't want you to sleep in a stinking garbage dump. Watch over Alice. Return to Alice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wherever she went. Yeah, she's over there. Oh, uh, there's a motel. I mean, people are... It's at least a place where people are meant to live. And sleep. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look lost. <gasps> oh, hey. I have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. Do you? But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. What, he's gone? Wait. Oh my god, did they just take him? Was he also free? Oh my god, what the heck? This is horrible. Oh, uh, this is why I don't do blind LPs, because I just freak out the entire time. And yes, I do mean with like literally every game. Imagine like me just playing a new Kirby game, I'm just like, ah! Ah! An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. Okay, then we won't choose it. But it's just for one night, and no one will look for us here. Can cut fence here with a wire cutter. I don't have a wire cutter. Uh, squat in the house, what? Let's go to the motel. Or at least check it out first. Find a wire cutter. Yeah, just find a wire cutter lying around. Uh, phooey. At least I run relatively quickly. Uh, but then again, I just remember the last time I went to a motel in a heavy Looks rain like game. 
And it wasn't pretty. $40 a night. Do I have money? I doubt it. No Android allowed. See if I care. Oh, well, I do going care. In? We have to find $40 and get rid of this uniform. Or go somewhere else. I like that one. Let's sleep at the motel. Let's just find money, get into the motel. Get $40, find clothes. Be discreet. Oh boy. Let's see what we could find. Uh, hair sales. Laundromatic. That's where we would get clothes. Sweet and tasty. I thought it said sheet and tasty, like uh, bed sheets, because it was a laundromat. I thought they were connected or something like that. No, they are not. It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. We gotta find $40 worth of quarters. Also, it's the future. Laundromats still exist. Oh, change of clothes. So, like, we got all this futuristic technology, but, like, we still just, like, have so little advances in other places that actually need them. Like, houses should just have washing machines or something like that. I don't know. Steal clothes? I don't want to steal clothes, but I have to, I know. Can I steal them somewhere else? Like, than the one behind this guy? Or is he the only one here? It's the only option. Oh, that other kid's watching me. Wait, no, that's my kid. Sorry. I thought you were some other kid. <laughs> oh my god, I was like, someone's watching me. It's the only option. Great. Cool. Steal clothes. What are you doing? You're not our clothes. We need them, Alice. You need something warm, and I need to get rid of this uniform. But that's stealing. We can't do that. You don't want me to steal. You don't want to be in the cold rain. Be a good influence or save her life? Which is better? God darn it. You're right. We won't do it, okay? So we just gotta leave. How about we sleep in the laundromat? No one's here to stop us. Come on, let's go. Huh. <sighs> Well, the other place we'd be breaking and entering, but it's a abandoned place, so no one will care. Fine, let's find these stinking wire cutters. What do we got? There's sleeping hotel, squat in house, check parking lot. It wouldn't let me check the parking lot before, though. The drugstore, to open 24-7, presumably. Well, let me go in there. Uh hmm. This says no androids allowed, presumably. Why aren't androids allowed like literally anywhere and yet we run the stinking universe? I assume the dumpster would have wire cutters just ever so conveniently at the top. There's something over there. Look, the store is still open. Store's Maybe still we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. Convince cashier to help. What do you want? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look. This is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not gonna buy anything. All right, where are those Oreo bars? No, I'm not stealing from the cash register. Steal, shoplift, rob cashier, what? Gun, oh yeah, I still do have a gun. I forgot about that, no. If she won't let me steal clothes, I doubt she'll let me threaten a stinking convenience store. No, I'm not taking it. Oh, one. Don't take it. Don't take it. I was just looking. I was just looking. I was just looking. I'm just staring. Uh, hello? Oh, security camera. Interesting. Is this a security camera? I can't even see it. I'm just gonna assume that's what that means. 
Yeah, more and more security cameras. Like, there's no way we could get away with it. Wire cutters! Oh. God darn it, we have to steal something. Ugh. There's gotta be some other way to get wire cutters, right? I'll be back. Just you stinking wait. I'll be stinking back once I've run out of options. Am I leaving her in there? <laughs> no, she's coming back. Okay. I like how you could wait until they hold hands and then you can walk together. There's nothing more this way. There's nothing more. Okay. It was sort of like a nursery rhyme. Huh. So I could steal a wire cutter probably discreetly. I don't. Is there a way to get in here without threatening the dude? Because I feel like if that's really my only option, then. There's no safe shelter. There's no. Like, I've already killed a guy. I'm on the run, so. I don't know why I'm so hung up about that, but. You'd think that there would just be an option for, like. You don't have to do anything bad, like you just ha sleep in a really crummy place, but you didn't have to do anything illegal to get to it. But with this, it doesn't seem like no shelter. Okay. Cause, like, on, every time I want to turn around, like it just takes too long because it's like too realistic and stuff. Huh. Sweet and tasty. Have we been in there yet? Is that even an option? Wait, John's Coffee, isn't that... Uh... The place where we were before with Connor before I killed him by accident? No. Uh, phooey. Doubt you're gonna be helpful. I think I was already here. Yeah, this is actually a lot smaller than I thought it was, so we have to go to the convenience store. Uh, phooey. She doesn't want me stealing the clothes. Oh my god. Fine, I guess that's our only option. We have to steal from the convenience store. It's a matter of do we want to steal stuff to where we could sleep in the hotel or steal stuff to where we could sleep in the abandoned house. I, If we could get away with stealing the wire cutters without him noticing, then at least we don't have to kill anyone or raise suspicion about anything. Let's just go ahead and take it. Wish I had, like, laser eyes, and that's a really shiny eggplant, my god. Also, what stinking gas station drugstore sort of thing has open vegetables and stuff? This is fancy. Uh, let's see, snacks, snacks, very realistic looking snacks. Uh, hello. I'll just take it. Tool for service? I don't think we have a choice, so sorry. Use Alice for diversion? Wait, what? Wait, one, one, one more second. Stole something. Rob cashier? Use Alice for diversion. I'm gonna use Alice for diversion. Because I don't want to rob the cashier. Because that involves using a gun. Also, where the fruit is Alice? No, we're not taking... Do I take more things? Do I go with all out? Because, like, I want her to starve to death. Oh, Jesus. Use Alice, try something else. Can I try something else? Okay, just. Oh no, because I forgot that, like. No, I'm not using the gun! No, I, we have to use Alice. Fine. Alice, I need your help. You see those cans over there? I want you to go over and knock them down. Knock them down? But why? Please. Alice, just trust me. <sighs> Do I run out? Oh wait, no, I'm stealing money. I think. Don't mind me, just standing here. Okay. Go in the you back. Right? Are you hurt? Hurry up! Don't worry. It's just a 
few cans. Okay, we got money. On, Jesus go. Christ, let's go. You're okay with me stealing money, but not a stinking laundromat clothing? Oh, jeez, don't go in the cash register. Don't go in the cash register. Oh, he found out. Cool. Fuck! So why'd I get the wire cutters? What was the stealing thing now? for, then? You used me to steal that money. How could you do that? I trusted you. I didn't think there was an option. It was either that or use a gun. Uh, You're right. I shouldn't have done that. Don't make me return I'm sorry, it. Alice. I'll never do it again. <laughs> so, oh, God darn it. I'm really just stinking confused because, like, I wanted to just take the wire cutters and leave. I thought that's what the distraction was for. I didn't want to steal the money from him. Can I bring it back? <laughs> I doubt it. There's no point going any farther. Fine. But now I have to steal the clothes if I want to go into the motel. Maybe I could convince him. And then I just come in with, like, a disguise after he says no. It's like, hello, I am human. Let me stay at your human house. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Like, I assume that's it. Because, like, I didn't want to steal the money. I wanted to steal just the stinking thing of Mahoozy. Just the wire cutter. God darn it. I hate everything. Let's see. Be discreet. Go around? Is that being discreet? No, it's not. Fine, I guess we can't go into the motel. You know what? Oh, no, I just said I'll never do it again, and then I go ahead and steal clothes. No, she won't let me. Because I want her to trust me, so we got the wire cutters. The money could be used for something later on, maybe. Could we get a haircut? I doubt it. I think we'd be able to just press a button to change our appearance, but no. Going too far. Let's just go in the abandoned house, like... Uh... Fooey. Everything got ruined. This is the worst birthday ever. Where was that abandoned house again that we're going to live in? Uh, is it over here? Uh, where can I use the wire cutters? Excuse me, sir. Pardon the intrusion. I don't understand. Because, like, I tried to leave and it wouldn't let me. Oh, get out of here. Maybe after right? I knocked over the cans, I could have left. Yes, it's just a scratch. Be careful. I don't stink it, no. Whatever. Done thinking about it. I messed up. Let's just get her through here. Don't worry, we're just having a look. Maybe it's a tropical paradise inside, who knows? Uh pull. Hmm. Anything else? Find a way in there. There's a bunch of stuff over there. Nothing over here. I know I'm wasting a bunch of time, but like, what if there's a secret or something? Maybe there's like a little, like, free android and human peace treaty civilization. Everyone welcome. And it's comfy and whatnot. Of course not. Let's just get out of here. I wish there was a run button. There isn't. And I didn't even know you were walking behind me. That's weird. Go this way. Whoa, turn the camera all the way around. It's all confusing now. And do we look through here already? No one inside? Sounds good to me. Nothing. 
Alice? Alice! Wait, where'd she go? Oh, God. Where'd she go? What the heck? Wait, what this are you is doing? awkward. Visitors. Ralph doesn't like visitors. They're nasty. They may hurt Ralph. She's just a little girl. She's not gonna hurt you. Little girl? She's not a little girl. Anyway, what does that matter? Maybe she wants to hurt Ralph. Look, I'm an android too. We have nothing to be afraid of. All we want is a place to spend the night. Visitors are dangerous. Look. What they did to Ralph. Where are you, Ralph? No, I'm not using the gun. You have nothing to worry about. We're not going to do you any harm. You have my word. You must excuse Ralph. Ralph still finds it difficult to control himself. Sometimes his fear makes him do things he regrets. Ralph has seen some hard times. He's just so scared the humans will get him again. You can stay if you want. Ralph won't hurt you. I'm probably gonna regret this, but let's okay. stay. We'll just stay the night. Come on! Um, what the fruit? Come, now he's come, so come happy! On. This way! Ralph has lived here since he ran away. Ralph never goes outside, so no one knows he lives here. So this isn't a new thing, it's just something that society likes to keep hidden. Like, they don't want us to think that's ever happened before, but it seems to be very, very frequent. Which is to be believed, because... How the heck could they have perfected these robots on the first try? <sighs> you can make yourself at home here. Ralph is gonna go into the other room. He would like to stay with you. But he has things to do. It's just for one night, Alice. We'll find a better place tomorrow. Right. Let's see where you can sleep. Sit down and I'll start a fire. I'm still angry about the money thing. <laughs> I'm just never gonna get over it. Like, it'd be one thing if I was actually, if I made that decision, like I was gonna go into the hotel. But I wanted to just take the wire cutters and leave. Oh, I better be able to use this money to like buy a stinking giraffe later. I wasn't gonna be stinking angry. Oh, this is a sad bed. Oh, I know those were, that was like fire, like suffer a fire, not a bed. Oh, they were making a bed out of the paper. Uh, let's go and do this. What else do we got? Don't want to go up there. Just take this. Taking everything I could find. Found blanket place bed near fireplace. Fireplace is over there. La 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 la. And we're good. We still gotta start the fire, but how do? I gotta collect wood. That's what we need. I got what you need. You said she's just a friend. Oh, hello. And there you go. One whole piece of wood. Let's go start that fire. Why can't the robot just have fire breath? I don't know. Because, like, everything I want the robot for, they don't do. Oh, it's another touchpad. You can come to bed. I did what I could. It's not much, but at least you'll be warm. 
I'd be too afraid to sleep next to a fireplace. Like, I would be afraid of, like, rolling over my sleep and falling into the fire. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why can't we just be happy? I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. Of course I'm gonna promise it, but I'm gonna regret it in five seconds, probably. I promise. Will we be together forever? Forever. It's okay, my booty's fireproof. At least I think it is. Jesus stinking Christ, how is this even possible? Like, this is an entirely extra character that we never would have met if we didn't go through here. How is this possible? Is this like connecting? No, this is just for this chapter. I thought it was like from the beginning of Kara's adventure, but no, it's everything. Like, this is just this one chapter. We only did 36% of it. I try not to steal that stinking money. It didn't seem like there was an option. Could I find wire cutters? All right, I'm done. I'm done complaining about that. Now, if we're going in like the same order, like we keep on going back and forth with the same order of characters, I should go back to Connor if he's still alive. But the question is, is he?